there are two types of processes involved in washing garment dry process also known as the special effects and garment wet process different techniques are used in garment dry process to create different types of effects on the garment such as whiskers scraping distress destroy tagging tying effect and KMnO4 spray there are two types of garment wet processes single dip and double dip single dip washes are simpler washes such as rinse wash or enzyme wash in which after the development of the base the garment is dried and is sent to the finishing department double dip washes are fancy washes in which after the development of the base the garment goes through further washing processes to create the desired effect such as random wash or coated wash there are different types of washes such as rinse enzyme bleach stone used double stone used random washes and garment coating in this demonstration we have chosen a slight random wash with all used effect to show how the process works we will show you how this will be converted to this The whiskers pattern is traced and engraved on a sheet. The sheet is then placed on a stand on which the garment is mounted. Special care is taken while mounting the garment to avoid any creases on the garment. The whiskers are developed with the help of this block. An emery paper having fine grains is attached on one side of the block the block is rubbed against the surface of the garment in the warp direction same operation is followed for the whiskers on the back knee as well the next process is scraping the garment is mounted on an inflatable balloon which is filled with compressed air. Here also it is ensured that there are no creases on the garment surface. The scraping operation is performed with the help of an emery paper similar to this. The operator gently rubs the scraping pad along the body of the garment where the abrasive effect is desired. They need to be highly skilled to ensure proper merging of the effect. Tagging creates a very subtle effect on the garment. Small folds are made on the desired areas and are fixed with the help of tags inserted with the tagging machine. Tagging is commonly done on the upper thigh, pocket openings and the waist belt regions but can also be done on the other parts as well. Tying effects are created by tying the garment with the help of common cable ties. Tying can be done in different ways to get different results. For our targeted wash, leg bag tying technique is used. The garment is twisted and placed into a leg bag. The bag is then tied with the help of a cable tie. After tying, the
the first stage of our washing process is completed and the garments are ready for the base development. Garments are now placed into the washing machine. The machine is filled with water followed by addition of desizing agent and anti back staining agents. Desizing is aimed to remove the size material from the fabric which was earlier applied to the yarn during the weaving process. Anti back staining agent helps prevent the garment from getting affected by the color bleeding out of the fabric. The process is run for 10 minutes after which the machine is drained and fresh water is inducted. Enzymes are now added into the machine. These are biological molecules that act as catalysts and help creating an abrasive look on the body of the garment. The process is run for another 10 minutes after which the machine is stopped and ties are opened. The garments are removed from the leg bags and placed back into the machine. The enzyme wash is continued for another 10 minutes after which the machine is drained. After the enzymes have done their job, bleach is added to the process. Bleach helps to tone down the base of the garment. During the bleaching process, shade of the garment is checked against the wash standard. For this, a part of garment is taken out of the machine and dipped into the water along with the wash swatch. Depending upon the result, the duration of the process is adjusted. After getting the desired shade, the bleach is neutralized with the help of sodium metabisulfate. To create the random effect on the garment, fabric rugs are placed into the machine. Water along with bleach is added to the machine. The machine is now run for 10 minutes so that the rugs can absorb the bleach solution. After 10 minutes, the solution is drained. To create a completely random wash, the machine is started and the garments are thrown into the machine while it's running. Now the garments are run along with the rugs for 10 minutes. After the desired base is achieved, the garments are removed from the machine and placed into the hydro extractor. The hydro extractor removes the water from the garment which are then placed into the dryer. After drying, the second stage of the washing process is complete and our base is ready. After the base is developed, the garments are sent to the special effects department for the destroy effects. Similar to the whiskers process, the garment is mounted on a stand. Underneath the garment, there are patrons 
made out of synthetic sheet shaped according to the desired destroyed effect. With the help of an emery paper attached to this block, the effect is created. By rubbing the block perpendicular to the direction of the warp, the warp threads are destroyed, leaving behind only the web thread, thus creating the destroy effect. Distress effects are abrasive effects, added to create a used look on different parts of the garment, such as the pocket entries, bottom and waist belt. Distress effect is created by rubbing the targeted region with a grinding stone attached on the grinding machine. KMNO4 spray is sometimes also referred as pinky spray due to the pink color of KMNO4. It acts as a bleaching agent. It helps creating highlights on the targeted regions such as the scraped areas. KMNO4 is applied to the garment either with the help of a brush or with a spray gun. Brush is also used to even out the spray to avoid any droplets. With the KMNO4 spray, the third stage of our desired wash is complete. In the last stage of our wash, the KMNO4 is neutralized with the help of sodium metabisulfate. After the neutralization, the garments are placed in the hydro extractor to remove the water. Garments then undergo drying process in the dryer. After the drying, the washing process is complete and garments are sent to the finishing department. Washing plays such an important part in the denim chain because of the countless effects that consumers try to find in what they are wearing. For that reason, it is the most difficult, yet a very interesting chapter of the denim world.